Shalom. Back with part five. Behold, the beast that was, is not, and yet is. Okay? Again, right. Again, it makes me think about, you know, that particular quote, you know, you know, what's the greatest trick that the devil ever pulled to make people believe he never existed, right? That's what basically it means, people. Behold, the beast that was, all right, is not, and yet is. You see that? So that you never knew that, you know, America, Babylon the Great was simply the last leg and extension of the revived Roman Empire, that fourth and final beast, which in Revelations 13 will tell you, you know, that that is the first beast, you know, that, and uh, they look to, that's who they worship, and they wanted to make an image of that first beast, the Roman Empire, whose deadly wound was healed, okay? All right, all right, people, further to show you something, all right? Again, people, the... You have to understand that the Lord is in control of all things here. You have to understand that, you know, he created all these uh, beasts. The Babylonian Empire, you know, Medo-Persia, you know, putting the Edomites in power, you know, uh, as the third beast, the Macedonian kingdom, them calling themselves the Greeks, and of course, them morphing into the fourth and final beast, the Roman Empire, all right? So the Lord is in control of all of this. So, just like the Lord, he created the scientists, okay, you know, to make the ICBMs. Well, what do you think? The, the mark of the beast, the karagma, that's the Lord's. What you people don't seem to understand is that this is a test, okay? And this is the ultimate test, all right? So, Pay attention here, okay? And many of y'all have already failed the test by going ahead and, you know, being, you know, deceived by Esau's propaganda, his media, his television, okay? You're all a bunch of weak-minded people who's ever done this, all right? Anyway, let's prove to you that this is all a test. Let's get right into it, all right? This is uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I, that's Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Bachim Yahweh Shai, right? The Heavenly Father, His Son. I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. We're going to get into that word because that word is going to show you that this is about a test, all right? which shall come upon all the world, see, right? The karagma, the M-O-T-B, right? Which shall come upon the whole world to try them, right? That word try also means that. We don't need to go into that one, all right? That dwell upon the earth. You see that? To try you, okay? To test. Let's get into the word temptation, all right? So you people get it in your heads. And we've done this many times, right? I don't have a problem doing it. The problem is that you people, you, you have no understanding, all right? You, you don't see it, so you don't get it, okay? And that's because the Lord has blinded you from this truth, all right? So this stuff is only for the elect. All right. Strong's G, 3986, Pyrasmas. Pyrasmas. All right. See what it says here? A trial, proving. A trial made of you by bodily condition. All right. Condition to serve as to a test. Got that? Going to jump down. A trial of man's fealty integrity, virtue, and constancy. I repeat, a trial of man's fealty, integrity, virtue, and constancy. See that? You people still don't see it? You still don't get it? All right? See? To try you, right? 
in what? In adversity, in affliction, trouble, as in Jacob's trouble, the tribulation period. Okay, there's no rapture. Okay, as it says in Matthew's, what is that? Matthew's 24, 22. Okay, that, you know, uh, not, no, not even 22. Uh, what is that? Uh, Matthew's 24, and uh, I believe it's 30, 30 or 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun and the moon shall be darkened. I believe it starts like that. So as you can see, okay, Yahweh Shai returns somewhat toward the ending of the tribulation there, okay, or in the middle, whatever, all right, but the point is, is that the elect of Israel, okay, because in Matthew 24, 31, he shall send his angels to gather his elect from the four winds, north, top, east, right, so as you could see, the elect is going to be here, the elect of Israelites, okay, it's not, it has nothing to do with the other nations, the Lord is not coming back here, for the other nations. Now, there may be people that come out of the other nations because we're scattered into all Gentile heathen nations, and they may look like those nations, but those will be Israelites by the seed of their fathers. So don't get it twisted, people. All right? So, adversity, affliction, trouble, as in Jacob's trouble, sent by the Most High, I repeat, see, this adversity, this affliction, this Jacob's trouble, the MOTB is sent by the Most High and serving to test or to prove one's character, faith, and holiness. See that? You, you people, are, is this reaching you? Are you people understanding this? All right? Now, we're going to scroll up. We're going to hit root word etymology. Give you some more understanding. All right? See, to try, make trial of tests for the purpose of ascertaining a person's quality or what he thinks or how he will behave himself. In a good sense, a bad sense, to test one maliciously, craftily, to put, to prove his feelings, his judgment, to try and test one's faith. See that? You got to put all your trust in the Lord. And you don't have to worry about what you're going to say. The Lord will put the words in your mouth. All right? If you trust in the Lord, he'll guide you. All right? See? To try or test one's faith, virtue, and character. You see that? By enticement to sin. Right? What is that enticement? The MOTB, the karagma. Okay? And he's using Esau to bring this about, people. And then he's going to destroy him. All right? You got it, people. Do you understand? To afflict, right, of the Most High, to afflict evils upon a person, right, on one, in order to prove that person's character and steadfastness of his faith. To see if you are loyal. If you have integrity, all right, to test your faith, your fealty unto the Most High and His Son. That's what it is, people. All right? Okay? And I guarantee you, they don't tell you that in the churches. Nobody breaks these scriptures down like the men of the Lord, starting with our elders on down. Nobody does that. All right? And nobody's going to do that for you. All right, it's not given on to them. All right, so let me take you over here. Give me a minute. All right, this is Escalatius 2 and 5. For gold is tried in the fire. All right? Acceptable and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You see that? That's what Jacob's trouble is all about, the tribulation. It is your rite of passage into the kingdom. It is the straight gate. You understand? The Lord is testing to see who's going to jump shit and bail out. And like I said, many of y'all have already failed the test and bailed out. And we haven't even gotten to that point yet. 
You know, Esau is just, you know, giving you, uh, you know, that uh, the serpent juice, the serpent's potion, all right, his piss, all right? And you people have already bailed out on the most high, all right? All right, what else does it say here? Believe in him and he will help thee. See that? You got to trust in the most high. That's what it's all about. Because again, your guns ain't going to save you. All right? Your pride is not going to save you. Okay? You understand, people? All right? You got to humble yourself down to the Lord. All right? Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way, all right? Trust in him. He that fear the Lord. See, everything starts with fear the Lord. Wait for his mercy and go aside lest he fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him. You see, they would trust in him. And your reward shall not fail. You see that? Yeah, a crown of life, everlasting life. All right, and an actual physical crown placed there by Yahweh Shai, the Machiach. All right, let me jump down. Give me a minute here. All right, this is uh, Escalatius 2 and 12. Woe, destruction to the fearful hearts and fake hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. What is that talking about? Unstable people. Give me a minute. This is James 1 and 8. What does it say here? Double-minded man is unstable. In all his ways. Let's get back. All right. Verse 13. Woe destruction to him that is faint hearted. For he believeth not. You see that? Therefore shall he not be defended. See that? And the Lord is separating amongst Israel. Right? Because this has nothing to do with the other nations. Okay, he's not coming back for them. He's only coming back for the elect of Israelites, if you Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, so he's separating the true believers from the unbelievers. You understand? And the unbelievers, they're, they're what? They're trusting in Esau. All right, they're trusting in what? Oppression. Okay, and perverseness, which is wickedness, as we read, you know, in Isaiah, the 30th chapter there. You understand? All right, give me a minute. All right, this is Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil. You know who the devil is. This is not talking about the spiritual entity, Satan. It's talking about Esau, Edom, all right? The white man. He shall cast some of you into prison, detention centers, uh, detention centers, FEMA camps, all right? America has over 800 of them, all right? So, uh, that ye may be tried. Again, you know what that word means. It's a test. I've already proven that to you. All right, what it's all about. And ye shall have tribulation 10 days, maybe 10 days, maybe more, maybe less. Be thou faithful, right? Even unto death. Okay, that doesn't mean you're going to die. Okay? It just means it can go as far as, you know, to a certain point where you probably think you are, but then, you know, the Lord is going to stop it at that point, all right? Now, some of us are going to be taken out, all right? Guillotine, as we read in Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the testimony of Jehovah Jai, okay? And these were they that, you know, did not worship the beast or its image or the mark. You understand? And they lived and reigned with Jehovah Jai a thousand years, in other words, forever and ever, you know, they got the new bodies, all right? Um, the immortal bodies, all right? Let's uh, continue here to finish this out. So, be thou faithful, right? Even unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That crown of life is talking about immortality, people, all right? It starts with a new body, okay? An extraterrestrial body. And, of course, you know, you're talking about uh, rulership. Co-heirs to the kingdom with Yahweh Shai being of the 144,000 will be the governing bodies. And you'll actually get a physical crown placed there by Yahweh Shai himself. All right, people. I'll end this here. I'm out. I'm on to the next one. Show one.